Hey guys, doing another Miss A haul. Of course, because I love the place and I own almost everything they have in store. And I've got a little bit of everything here today. Um, some of my downfall items that I really, after reading reviews and everything, saying how great it was that the glitter was all through the eyeshadow, and just finding out that when you rub your finger across it, like that. I mean, it's a dollar item, but, you know, if it's good, then, hey, it was a dollar. But they're pretty. Look at all the sparkles. This one had sparkles on it, but as I rubbed just one little spot on it, it, it the glitter is just on top of it. And it's not even the same color below on some of these. Like this one down here. It's supposed to be a goldish, like, green color, and it's more like a brownish black color or something. It, it's like a brownish silver, not brownish black. But it's, I don't know, maybe the matte colors up there would be a lot better. And of course, because I read the reviews on that one and this one saying how great it was, I bought the other palette. Looks so pretty. I already put my finger in that one because I was going to wear that one today. And that's like charcoal color underneath it. Not even close to the purple on top of it. So mad, but it was a dollar so. What I have on today is Clean Colors American Icon Wet Dry Eyeshadow or Baked Eyeshadow. You got to get through like two or three layers or you won't get anything. But it was a dollar. It's on my eyelids right now. So that stepped me outside of my normal browns and purples and all that stuff. So we're going to go for that. And I also got the white one in that baked shadow. Maybe if I can get it open. This one I haven't really... You hear that? I'm really having to dig in there to get any product out. I mean, it's not bad once you get it on the skin. Like, heck, you could probably use that as a highlight. But it's so chalky. And it does kind of disappear, but it could work as a highlight. On my search for finding anything under 20 bucks, for foundation, CC cream, anything, I have resorted back to trying the Miss A Hall's foundations and CC creams. Last time I didn't give them a real good chance, I stuck them on my hand and I was like, ugh, and gave them away. So I'm back at it. I got two of them and two different shades because I don't know what color is what, you know, what it's going to be. And of course, some of these on the sites just give you numbers and start colors. And then you see this in their pictures. So you have to guesstimate. So I'll, I'm going to try those out. Let you guys know in my weekly day-to-day -day vlog that I end up posting. Which pretty soon that's going to basically be a, just a big update vlog. Because there ain't going to be anything exciting happening. Which hasn't been really anything exciting. This I had a goof up on. I thought it was concealer. Here's a 3-in-1 foundation stick. I got two different colors. It's by Amuse. So. But I'm going to say that Santee, I've never had a problem with it. I used the Santee liquid foundation today, in which, once again, they don't have names for things, so they have numbers. And this one's just a little bit lighter, but I do have an, an order coming from Ulta for the lighter and darker mix for your foundations to do what you need to do. So maybe this might help. I'm not sure about this just because, you know, I know they're dollar items and they look cheap, but I'm going to try them. Hey, they could be the best thing in the world. But I got two of the LA colors and different colors because... 
all these foundations, you have one certain color you, you always bought from one company, it's going to be different in another company. I've noticed that. So really, we all don't know what color we are. <laughs> and I had a good time with this last time. It took a couple different tries to get it down packed, but it's the Muse Tattoo Lip Stain, the OMG Long Lasting Peel Formulation. And after I got it down packed, I loved it. I mean... And they smell good, so but it's like a purplish red color. And they do work. You just gotta play around with them and figure out how to do everything. I've got also the Wonder Metals from AOA. I should hold that up there so you can see it better. And these do dry out your lips, so it's best to have like some chapstick or gloss or something around. But they're like a metallic color, and this one is digital. I know, I already showed you guys my lipstick drawer and I have way too much lipstick. And Cosmo, this is what I have on today, and I love it. Kind of gives you like that 90s vibe with the metallic in it, so. I mean, look how they shine when it hits the light. Not bad. And Unicorn. kind of has like a chem light chemically smell to it but you don't smell it after a second of being on your lips I mean trying to take it down there so the light hits it a little bit all right and of course because one more thing I'm addicted to they're not 100% great eh, probably about 65% great, but I did get another pack of AOA makeup wipes. This one's in cucumber. All right. I guess we're off to the jewelry section now. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a girl. I like expensive jewelry, but, you know, that light's annoying over there. Um, sorry. <laughs> I can see it out of the corner of my eye. I can't put my hair back but sometimes getting costume jewelry is a lot better looking than some of the real stuff sometimes not all the time this one I'm, I tried on I was gonna wear it today I was all amused with it it's got little gemstones in these down here but it just it was wrong like maybe I need to take one of these off because as soon as you put it on, this one would flip down. Like, they have these little ball things. So when, see how they're flat? It flipped down like that and kind of stay sideways. Even when it was pulled tight to my neck, that top one kept rolling down. It was mad because I like that one. And it's a choker. I like my chokers. Another flashback to the 90s. If I knew what I know now, I'd go back to the 90s. But another choker. <laughs> this one's got a little gemstone on it. This one's not too bad looking. Some of them I might have to fix. A purple velvet choker. Purple's my favorite color, so. And it's one of those wide ones. I've never had one of those, so. We'll go with that. I think it's this. Yeah, this one. I'm going to take the gemstone out and put it. Go to Hobby Lobby and put in another gemstone because I've seen a few of them 
when I was up there the last time, and I'm like, start thinking about that. It'd be nice to change that out to one of them that kind of looks like these little crystals below, so, I don't know. And on the site, it said it was a pearl choker. But this looks like it might be a little bit longer than a pearl choker. It's got cute little beaded fake gemstones on there. It came with earrings, which I'd probably give to my niece or something. And a bracelet. It's just different. It's one of those stretch bracelets. I mean, I'm a weird dresser anyways, so. I like having a shelf down here. I can actually put stuff up there. Maybe. I like emojis, too. I liked them back in the 90s. I'm, I should go back there. <laughs> I was in good health then. But it's a keychain. I just thought it was cute. And here's the big lesson. When you're buying stuff off of there, look at sizes. Just, just, just look at sizes. And you'll see why you should look at sizes because there's nighttime shopping situations and I think my battery's gonna die in my light. Oh my gosh. I, I love my hoops. I have ones that's a little bit bigger than this. But this is not me. Like I say, I thought there was a cool tab. I mean, they got like glitter dust all over them. They look cute on there. I should have looked at the size because I mean, I don't know. I might be able to pull that off. Who knows? I'm goofy enough to do it. But this I don't think I'm goofy enough for. I just, I think it might take me out of my comfort zone way too much. And these are the reasons the biggest reason why you should check for sizes. Never knew there were sizes for jewelry, really. <laughs> I mean, this I could probably get away with. This, there's no way. I was like, oh, they're, they're blue glittery hoops. Oh, right, I want those. Um. That's a little too much for me, I think. It might be, I don't know. We'll give it a try. <laughs> Let's see. They had goofy socks on there. They're socks. But it comes in a three pack and nice ankle, I believe. No, I think these are just footy. Could be just footy, yeah. But summery collars. I'd probably never wear out and just go with my jammy pants. But hey. Of course, another pair. These ones got like little flowers on them. I mean, they're cute. I just don't know. A lot of people's houses I go to, you gotta take your shoes off, so. No. I'm not a little kid and I may act like it sometimes, but you know. As I'm saying that, I'm pulling out a teenager's idol. I almost had a yellow belt that had glitter all over it, but apparently they told me that it was sold out after I had received, you know, received my shipping email and it's not really showing up there, but it's blue and white. 
it looks black and white from back here. I got to see if there's a way to change out the battery on that. And we're almost done. Because I get to start all over in a new little office area, I want to have some things. If I need to write something down, I want something to write down with something that's creative. <laughs> something that's an oddball. And they do work. I mean, <laughs> that's too cute. That's that's weird. But it's cute. And to go along with that one, you know, things that I can set up on my desk that nobody else realizes what they are until they see me use it. This one I'm not too crazy about. You gotta really get that in there. They made that lid way too high. They should have made it where you could like twist this up so this comes out. But it's odd. It's different. I like it. In curiosity, a mobile phone ring stint. Not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. But hey, it might help me when I'm out there on the porch. And I'm watching the rest of you YouTubers. So I'm hands free. And down to the last two items. Once again, cat person. You know, I love having my cat around. But these are wall stickers or wall clings or something. They're too cute. This will be my only area where I get to be me. Outside there, I've got to be everybody else. Or what everybody else wants. But, you know, thanks for, you know, watching the video. And <laughs> I'm trying to get better at this. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe if you'd like, um, and I will see you tomorrow. So, good night since it's nighttime. Bye!